You're familiar with this report, Mr. Morrissey? I am, yes. Do you have argument with it? No, I do not, Mr. Bell. In the light of this, it's in your best interest to resign, and in the school's best interest to respect your decision. If you'd like me to be clearer, I can be. No, that will not be necessary. Yes. Well? Good luck. Yes. Thank you. No rats. It's the brother. Oh. I like him. Always have. What are you talking about? He's never said a word to you. It's his silence I like. Good afternoon, Jack. Good afternoon. Jen is not here. I'm Cora. My sister is out, did you say? Yes, she's on fastest. Oh, you're here. Want a hand? Yes. You can get a gun. I'm going to put a bullet in this horse. He doesn't want to go anywhere anymore. What are you doing here? School burned down? You sick? I'm finished. What does finished mean? Finished. Altogether finished. So, messed up the old school guard again, did you? No, I didn't get a chance. I don't believe that. It's true. They didn't know I was there. They didn't feel the breeze. You must have done something wrong, Jack. You want a brandy? It's over there. No, I don't want one. You look awful enough to want one. <sighs> Jenna, can no, I... you can't. Go back, Cora. <laughs> Damn silly people, they walk all over me. I was saying you look awful. Yes, I know. Like Seeky Patterson. <sighs> Seeky, the old boxing buddy of Pops, who used to skip rope through the old house once a year when we were kids. Even the butcher flattened him, remember? His mother flattened him. Colder than ice. Fought all his life and didn't win a one. You could stay, you know. I could use a few appearances. No, I'm going to take the 440 and go up and see Neela. Oh, everyone gets the nod but me. You save no for me, everyone else gets yes. Fine. I hope you're saving a better face for your daughter.
Mr. Morrissey? I thought that was you. Oh, yes. Back there tells me you're a school teacher. Oh. My name is Crocker. I see. And yours? Morrissey. I'm on my way to Sudbury. I see. And you? I'm going beyond. Rosewood. My daughter's at the convalescent home there. Nothing serious, I hope. Rheumatic since childhood. Oh, I see. Superior place, so I'm told. I'm with the Department of Education. Northern Division, assistant school supervisor. I see. I've just been down to pick up a school. Small school, is it? It's not large. Um, you'll want to see this. No, not really. I haven't got time to stop off. Well, we don't have to. It's right behind us. This will look simple enough to you, but there was nothing simple about it. As you can see, fully equipped, fully operational. I see. And um, through here, toilet, bath. And here it is. This is the heart of it. Everything's here. The only difference between this and a regular school will be that this one moves. Yes. I've, uh, I've scuffed a few shoes and stepped on a good many more to get it this far. It's all gonna be worth it. Of course, whoever takes this job will have to be ready to forfeit a normal life. A church, family, that sort of thing. He'd have to be an idiot, wouldn't he? I beg your pardon? Wouldn't that be his first requirement? This is not a whim, nor is it a gamble. This will prove itself to be the most crucial innovation our educational system has ever recorded. I mean, surely any teacher would see this as the ultimate challenge. It's not a challenge at all. Matchbox. You can't see it. You just can't see it. I can see it. A skinny schoolhouse that seems to be going somewhere. It knows where it's going. Don't worry about that. Yes, up to teach tree people and river rats and that sort of thing. No, I, I can see you're excited about it. It's very strange. If I'd been you, I would have jumped at this kind of unique undertaking. I would have seen it as a blank canvas. To an artist, that's what it would be. I'll tell one if I see one. <clears throat> this your man? Excuse me. It is your man, isn't it? No.
Weren't you going to get your room down below? No. Why not? Because I'm not an old folk. Well, I'm an old folk. Doesn't that count for anything? Hello. No. Oh, your room looks nice. Ah, this is better. You look fine. I am. You look it. I tell you when I'm not. That for me? Yes, maraschino cherries. Oh, lovely. Uh -huh. Not something I can add to your other little gifts. In my calendar, you should be just about marking exams. Natural science. What did you do? Well, that's the kind of support I've been missing. Did they let you go? Well, of course they let me go. What were they going to say? No, you can't leave? Are you going back? I am not. Why not? <sighs> Nila, Nila, Nila. She said her name was Nila, and she had a Nila face. But what was Nila doing in this godforsaken place? <laughs> Very nice. But I'm waiting. I struck a student. You didn't? I did. Well, you're not the first to do that. There were six. What? I bonked six of them. I only bonked one with intent to maim. Unfortunately, he happened to be a Waverly. Banking family, British Columbia. Well, there's a surplus of Waverleys. I did it to wake him up to the possibility that perhaps he should consider being someone else for a change. He'd been going on all week about wanting to become prime minister one day, so I had to hit him before it was too late. According to that school, Neela, Canada's next five leaders will come from there. Chilling. Then you were right to do what you did? Oh, yes. Oh, that place. Stifling. The smugness, the complacency. I couldn't get through all the wood. I couldn't. There's nothing that says we have to talk about school and me and my errant ways, is there? Well, of course, fathers and daughters don't need to talk. Well, that's for people who don't know each other. I had a thought about that. And oh, yeah. We're the very ones who have to talk about a lot of things. Yeah. All my life, I've seen you working at talking to me like a sledgehammer. Well, there's perfection, and then there's me. I didn't mean... So you knew who got on famously with people. Your Uncle Dougie. He, he... I don't want to hear any more than I know already about Uncle Dougie or how Aunt Chin is getting along. It's you I don't know about. Oh. Who knows? You may have to bunk me with a book, too. No, why did you say that? I don't think they hurt you. I was unnecessary. They were all going to become lawyers and doctors and bankers anyway. With or without me, I was not going to make a difference. You have to make a difference. You're going to teach again? I haven't arrived at this today, you know. This has been some time coming. I've just gotten to the point where I can't stand to look at more than one face at a time. I stand in the middle of large rooms. I tend to invite no end of human contact. Well, if you give me a corner, preferably one with a large Grecian urn in it, and I'm, I'm fine. Though I'd rather not be in the room at all. You know, people charge too much these days. Except you. I wish I were you. You can sit still as a picture, and I get dizzy watching you. You've got more in that little room of yours in a greater space than I've traveled in all the miles backwards and forwards. Though in France, I had about 300 yards only for three years. I'd go ahead 300, go back 300, go ahead, go back. 
but I knew it very well. What are they having for supper? Do you have those budget allocations I gave you? Ah, Mr. Morrissey. Do you have a moment? Yes. Come on in here. Well? I'd like to know a bit more about the school car. He didn't show much interest before. He seemed quite detached, as a matter of fact. Now, a lot of work and a lot of planning went into this. You don't just snap your fingers and get yourself a school car. I've been going through the listings. Uh, you've uh, had quite a checkered life. You first taught at uh, Durham County. Then Captain Morrissey, prisoner, Legion of Honor. Tell me, is there a is there a college you haven't tried your hand at, Mr. Morrissey? What about that? I suppose not. Hmm. And what else? Married? And, oh, no, not married. Was, I believe, is the operative word. What a queer duck you are. You could use this job, but you don't sound as though you could. Well, to be honest, I would take it to be near my daughter, Rosewood. Oh, yes. Tell me, if I gave you this opportunity, could you hold on to it for two months? Two months? Yes, that's all we have to start with. We'll see how it goes along, and then they'll renew. Or not. Well? That a yes? I suppose it is. Okay. Try to keep your general supply requirements to one monthly amount. You send the bills to me here, and I'll see they're filled. Now, Catabac. That's where the school car is now. Now, you'll spend a week in each place. Now, the CNR will pick you up, drop you off, pick you up, drop you off, pick you up, drop you off. Now, now those? are the only people I know about in that one area. Hmm? You'll have to contact them. There are shacks there for the students to stay in should they live any distance from the school car. You'll find them quite suitable. There's just a few of them. Good mix of cultures. River rats, tree people, that sort of thing. Yes? Oh, Eric. Afternoon. Eric, this man is Jack Morrissey. He's applied for the school car position. Mr. Morrissey, this is our supervisor, Mr. Lawler. Do you want it? Yes. Go and do it.
What do you want? Sir. What? Everybody says sir to me. Go to hell, sir. <laughs> Take that thing away from my face. I want money. Cash. You'll never get rich with a wooden gun, you know. <laughs> Be surprised. Now, leave me alone. Good. Hey! Don't anybody try to stop me. Not many in here yet. No. Gonna be lots, though. Gonna be bigger than China. Wants to get wind of us up here. They're probably getting that now. Big men in here, you know. Oh. Oh, one man who wrote books. You know, he's got one of my guns down there with him. And well, that'll come in handy. There's another fella, too. Oh, but he killed a lot of people. An American. He sliced them up. You know, I hope people. he doesn't have one of yours. No! He ain't got one of my guns.
father is not a lucky man.